Hello everybody, this is Jacob Nolly with the Graphite Lab and today I'm going to make a quick video to show you um, some potential shortcomings that people um, run into when they are doing the invoicing and batching process inside of Service Titan. Um, so as a success manager, some of the major things that I've found um, that customers deal with sometimes when they're inside of Service Titan doing invoicing for the first time um, is the most common issue that I run into is that they post batches before they are ready to post those batches. So what do I mean by that? Um, basically inside of Service Titan, when you post a batch, you can no longer make changes to it. It kind of locks all of those invoices in place until they are ready to be exported. You can always unpost a batch, but oftentimes um, one thing that we run into is is um, people using Service Titan will come in here, add something to a batch, and they'll post, they'll add it to the batch before they've actually gone into the invoice and reviewed that everything was done appropriately. Um, that is typically the number one thing that people overlook when doing the integration is that changes you, like you can't make changes after you've exported it to your system. So you have to make sure everything looks good before you add it to a batch. The second most common issue that we run into, um, and one thing just to keep in note, is customers getting disorganized or losing invoices because um, they don't have a system in place to do thorough batches or they let invoices and, and um, payments and transactions just build up over time. What we recommend people do is every single day when you come in or once a week, however often you guys want to keep your cadence going, is to create a batch with the date. So name it something that you can reference the day that it was on rather than just naming it whatever. Um, so name it with the date and then have your team, um, if you if you want to do batches separately by business unit, have your team, you can have the date and then the business unit name, but basically have a system in place to keep your batches organized so that as you're exporting things, you know what should be in what invoice, in which batch, um, um, what that batch should contain in it. That way there's a system of organization in, in process. Um, and those are two of the major tips that we would have as you're kind of navigating the in exporting process in Service Titan, um, just to keep things organized and keep you on top of your game.